What's up, Foundation Nation? We're back with another starter set challenge. Let's get into it. We're back. This is pretty premium, okay? We've done a lot of starter sets. Some of them- These are PDGA approved. Look, pretty yeah, they're very upfront about the PDGA here on this starter set. We've got the color scheme, PDGA approved. How many times? PDGA, any more? Just two. But anyways, this one is from Sportneer, another Amazon find. I think this one came in around Sportineer? $35. Wow. Sportneer. I think it smells like sport in here. Sportneer. Is it Sportneer or Sportneer? No, it's just Sportneer. Sportneer. It just okay. almost it like it kind of flows that way. I kind of like that We're name. We're promised in this disc golf set two driver, mm -hmm. two mid-range, two putter, no, no plurals, and one bag. They got that one right. All right, let's- Have we verified these are actually PDG approved? Nope. And it says driver, super fast. Mid-range, great glide and accuracy. Putter, accurate putting and approach. Oh, so that's oh, what I need, it's accurate. Now, <laughs> hey, I it. had taken a peek inside of this, not Cheater. to look at the discs yet, but I saw the instruction manual and there's something very fun in this one. So we've got an instruction manual. That's a new one and I like that. It's got a lot of different languages. We got English, Italian, French, Spanish, and French, <laughs> French Dutch, I think. Sport near, not listed on the PDG as an improved manufacturer. Scandalous controversy. So this is the best part. So we got this instruction manual and it says correct way to hold a disc and they give you a backhand power grip, a backhand fan grip. Okay, I wanna show you this. Backhand power grip, that looks correct. Backhand fan grip is just a forehand grip and then forehand stacked grip is just another forehand grip but they rotated the disc. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've got commonly used disc golf catching and it what? tells you high position catching, <laughs> low position catching, you just rotate your hand and then both hand catching. You just use two hands. What is that for? Hey, don't play catch with the disc golf disc. <laughs> that's like my that's like my favorite thing. I'm gonna frame this in the office. Let's get into what's inside the box. That's what you're here for. What's so inside? First off, we got a bag. The packaging is really nice. I will give them points for that. So we got a bag. I see embroidery. Uh-oh. This is really nice. Wow. Okay, this is the nicest bag it's we've like a got. Legit I think. Lunchbox that's bag. A, yeah. Well, that's just a lunchbox, actually. Or, yeah, it's probably just a lunchbox. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's a piece in there. We've lunchbox got a water bottle a holder, a nice strap, and kind of a fun little Zipper situation, I won't lie to you. Yeah, it's With fun. Velcro? Ooh, Premium. they got Ooh, the crow. Inner pocket as well. Now, you get six discs, and I think they would all fit in here. Surely. I believe Dang, the dude. discs are duplicates of each other. We'll see if they name them different things like that yeah, last I'm gonna, I'm gonna just search the name once we have that okay. to see if the names are approved. So, maybe the, we'll, maybe we'll the discover mid -ranges, who's actually making these things. They did it. So they did the thing again where they have the same disc and they name them two different things. I that, that is interesting. So we have the mid-range, the Volador, Mid-range feels pretty darn good, I'll say. Yeah. Um, and then the same mid-range called the Eden. Now this plastic looks a little more DX. -y. This plastic is not like that hard, like reboundy. It's much grippier and pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Ah, these are XCOM. We've already used the XCOM starter set. So they're the same mid. But this plastic is different. So this is the XPT5. Zion driver renamed from Volador. So this is now the Zion. Do you have the Zion? No, I have the Eden. Maybe this is this driver. We continue. We move we'll, on. We'll, look, we'll Google the next one. That stamp on. is kind of sick. Sure, oh, that, there's yeah, a that stamp. mini. Pink mini out of nowhere. Wasn't wow. XCOM what we did the, the No, last we haven't one? done XCOM yet. Yes, we definitely. I've heard XCOM. Look it up. Look it up while we're doing this. Um, all right, drivers. Now I'm the, just the research guy. The, research the, the designs <laughs> are very similar, but the plastic feels different. So we have the sailfish. Yeah, this plastic feels like actual disc golf plastic. The sailfish, and this driver looks kind of decent. It looks kind of stable. The Bennu. Mm. Nice. Benu. These feel okay, and then the Benna. putters. Let's call it the Benna. Okay, the putters we have. The Grampus. I mean, that's awesome. I love that. And man, once Killer again, whale. pretty good feeling. That's an disc. Orca, not a Grampus. Uh, and then the Zion. Oh, here's a Zion, but it's a putter. Oh. There's a lot of controversy Initial happening Initial impressions, right now. these are some of the best, like, like we always try to find the random starter sets. This is one of the best feeling disc slash plastic combos now, I've found. Here, here's an interesting one. If you can search XCOM Disc Golf Beginner Starter Set, you have the Bennu with this exact same- But it's a mid-range? But it's a putter. <laughs> or a putter. Huh. There must just be a database of random names that all these companies are throwing around. Like but they say PDGA approved and the only way it's PDGA approved is if this is made by XCOM. Well, let's find out if it's Bogey Bros approved and let's give him some throws, huh? Oh, is he right boy? Yeah, he's right boys. There's the S Bennu, which was approved June 13th of 2022. And then there's the Bennu putter, 
approved January 17th, 2020. Oh, okay. All pocket. But that's all XCOM, which we're assuming sport near. They're in cahoots at the very least. Do they have flight numbers on them? Yeah, yeah. 10, 4, negative 1, Dang, 2. I think that's a first. Yeah, that's that's another good well, that's one. A, we we should talk uh, about that. Volador is a 5402. These are 2301. Very good flight numbers as well. Yeah. They, these these are, this have is, a lot I think of this is the first starter set with flight numbers. All right, let's just go with what we have. Well, no, somebody's got to be the fish theme, and somebody's got to be the other are you theme. Put that what, what am I? Oh, I'm fish theme. I get the Grampus. You're going down, dude. I got the Eden, the Bennu, and the Zion. It even has a thing to roll up the Velcro, roll up the pouch here. Hold on a second, and attach it to the wow. back like that. This is this is a good set. Look out, grip equipment. These things, <laughs> these things fly well. They're taking over. <laughs> All right, Eden. All right, Eden. Stable. I'm telling you right now, though, nice flight. There's nothing wrong with that. I would, I would agree with the 4502. These discs, I usually feel like we're having to try it and give them some credit. These actually feel pretty good. Yeah. Like, this is, could be a legit. The only thing that's iffy is, like, they might all be kind of stable. So it's like, what? Not really a good not really great not really starter, starter set, set yeah. but a good disc set. A good set. for, like, foundation making a starter set video. Here we go. We're going with the Volador. Hold it. Holy crap, it glides, though. I had a very nice flight to it. Good little mold they got here. What in the world? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've used a beadless putter. Yep. Oh, the bead it. normally pops it out of my hand a little more. <laughs> Hole two, big downhill, par three. I'm gonna go with the, uh, what is this, the Bennu driver. Come on, Bennu. Not to be confused with the Bennu putter. Put, put, put Bennu in the jets. I'm forehanded. Feels like it'll hold up. You got through it first, so I did. Really good bite to it. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Fantastic. Long putt. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that a toss. I was hoping it would be this. <laughs> yeah, these are an interesting one because these discs are like, man, it feels good. These are good molds. Yeah, they're it's just not they're, they're, We're only a hole in, so I won't spoil the ending, but not a good starter set. Good set, though. Oh, that's a good throw. Yeah, hook up like that, man. I mean, hey, Trevor might Trevor. put that in his bag as his forehand disc. <laughs> Thing is awesome. Come on, Trev. Oh, I like that putt turn. Yeah, I've got three Grompuses in my bag, all in different stages of wear. Bing bong. Can I just say shout out to the color blue? Cause like, come on. We're blued out today. Anyway, that brings us to our sponsor, the color blue. He's just kidding, three. guys. Hole number three. If anybody can hit the gap, it's this flying, beautiful piece of aquatic seafood. That's interesting. I'm gonna eat. You guys, you guys have had buffalo wings before. You ever had fish wings? You know what? I'm proud of myself because I said I'm not gonna miss this hole left anymore. Now it did kick left at the end, but I didn't miss it left originally. I'm just not gonna miss it at all. I'd be respectful. Dag home. That would be darn respectful. Hit him with it. This hole's hard, man. Didn't think it would flip like that, man. Get in the hole. Off the tree. Off the other tree. Hmm. It's a tester. Get in the hole. Off the tree. Off the other tree. Hmm. It's a tester. Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can do it? I think you can do it. I think you can do it. He read my mind. He knew I was about to hit him with it. <sighs> Split grip. Look how oh smooth that came out. It actually does make me better. But honestly, Come on, pink mini. Pink mini. Oh, pink mini. Fun fact. Now, is that an orca? Because yep. it has a yes. spot, but then it has a little like a humpback feature. They don't have that. Yeah, they do. Like the wrinkles underneath? They sure don't. Fun well, fact. One might. Orcas are actually part of the dolphin family. They are not whales. That's not an orca. Well, if it was, That's a that would be a fun fact. Whatever. A, what's a grampus? Research guy. He's the scary Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Hole number four is 160 feet. That's how far I am from my dream of gr of acing with Grampus. A Grampus is a set setacean of the dolphin family. Good job, Trevor. Oh! Holy crud. Good shot. Oh, it didn't get up enough. That's it literally stuck. looks like a dolphin that's the size of a whale. Let me see. So they named it the Grampus, but put a killer <laughs> whale on the disc. That's not a Grampus. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's scary. For a second, I thought that thing lived here on Earth with us. <laughs> oh, that's an ace. No. Oh, they're stable, though. Stable. You give them a little off. bit of bitey bite. We both ramped up there. Ramped her. Good putt. Don't. 
Oh, you think you're so cool making putts. Dude, I might be on something with that putter. Hole five, real big test here for the sailfish. Hunter is sick of the bugs. The squirrels are surrounding us. I gotta go flex forehand. Has to. to get to the green. I gotta be careful with this because it's not quite stable enough. I think if I give it this much angle, not good. This much angle, pretty good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, you nailed it. Good shot. I might go in. No, I'm a little short. Sure. Missed the tree. Oh, I rolled back to the bottom. I'm gonna have to jump up. That disc is amazing. I'm one for 52 on this left gap, so I'm gonna try it again. Damn, let's make it two for 53. Two for 53! That's pretty sick. I threw it really high, but I think it's gonna get there. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. All right. Nothing wrong with that. That's what they call being on the dance floor. They call me Michael Jackson on the dance floor. Oh man, I actually threw a pretty good one. Oh! That was pretty nice, Trev. That's quite scrumptious, I'll say. Dang, hunt. <laughs> Felt like Scott Stokely. Hole number six. Yeah. I love this hole. Something about this hole makes me always think, I'm gonna ace it in the basket. <laughs> The Volador seems like the right contestant on this American Idol. Volador. I like Volador. Do I need to give it hyzer or no? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I'll throw it flat to the left. To flat to the left? Flat to the left. I gave it a little bit of hyzer, but it is turning. Now, I said flat to the left. You said hyzer straight, so I'd like well, to know. I didn't believe in you. Well, he went hyzer to the right, so he didn't listen to either of us, Connor. <sighs> yeah, I didn't try it. Connor, what should I do? If I were you, I would throw hyzer flip straight down the gut. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. Now, Hunter, I didn't realize you hated my crazy. guts. I thought it was Shrek, dude. You guys know Shrek is from Fresno? Texas? No, Fresno, California. Like, that's in the lore of the show. If you, like, look it up, he's from Fresno. Probably why people were scared for us to go to Fresno. Probably, right. Fresno is a, is a fairy, tale fairy tale town. Oh, my gosh. Shrek. Also, hey, Trev, Shrek doesn't live under a bridge. He can't even bait a hook. If you're near the basket, heads up. Oh, I slipped. Dang it. <laughs> you know, I really shouldn't have been standing on a loose log and then be upset when I slip. Hey, Connor. Yeah. If you're near the basket, heads up. Okay. Ah! You're still out. If you're near the basket, heads up. Okay. <laughs> Dang, hon. Back to the Hey, Connor. Yeah. If you're near the basket, heads up. <laughs> I just, I just knew it. Oh, Rick! Wow. Mr. Suck, Mr. Suck. He's got a speed, a speed for need. Trev, I do think that it is irresponsible that you are using a mini whenever Hunter indeed does not have a mini. He can Texas flip though. Yeah, but his Texas flip isn't pink. I mean, I think you need to count your blessings on that one. Why? Because that could have rolled away all the way to freaking 10 buck two. Well, Hunter took like an eight, so I think I'm all right. I'm just saying, count your blessings, do it now. Are you seriously not gonna count your blessings? Okay. Shouldn't joke about that. Hunter number seven. Grompus. You know when whales do that thing where they flop up out of the, well, sorry, dolphins do that thing where they like jump up out of the water? Yeah. I'm gonna jump up into the basket here. I get left with a lot. A little too straight there, don't you think? Yeah, it was. It was too straight. I didn't know how. Let me show you the line for this hole. Yeah, you know the thing that dolphins do whenever they don't do what they say they're gonna do. Yeah, you know the thing that Bennu's do when they run they right sharks. into metal chains. <laughs> that is incredible. I think. Might be fine. I applaud your bravery. Thank you. Here's a medal. That was a good bid. Tester. Not for me. Nice, good putt. You know, really, the cheap, cheap part here is Trevor has a mini. No, you can Texas flip. Can I have the mini? We just made so many memories together. I remember. Give him the mini now. I remember lunches. Give at him the mini. And that time that I yanked it right on Heiser, and yeah, you can have it. Oh, ooh, it. Oh, that would have been did. very funny. Wow, I'm feeling pretty secure in my lead. How many you got? Three, two to play. I don't feel. I don't feel secure. 
You guys ever see that movie where Grompus again? I felt guilty after the last Grompus throw. I have to recoup things now. Look like re poop. Dang, Trev. Oh, it's safe, dude. That disc is so good. Now sit. Good shot. Dirty footer. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. These discs are so. Oh, and you. How did it do that? How, how, how did he. What, what? I'm gonna make this putt. 100. Dang it. He touched it. 100% C1X putting on the day. Last hole, we got a four stroke lead. I feel like I should if do I something. Ace it, do I win? Yes. But if I ace it, it cancels out. Fair. Gotta stick with my boy. I just gotta say, what a great putter. Wow, we're having a great time. If that gets down. That it might go. do it. Uh, it's too uh, far. Too straight. Really good, though. Really, Looks nice, really though. Good. I did really enjoy. Good. All right, Benu. Oh. I turned it. Oopsie. Look at the way it likes to fade, though. Very unique disc. If I make that putt, do I win? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I Final thoughts on this disc set. This is a very interesting one because as a disc golf product, the molds are probably the best we've had yet. The molds were all good molds. The plastic, as a baseline plastic, fine. Completely good. fine, very good. So I would say for those two things, we're looking at a very high score. Now the problem is this is a starter set video. Mm. These Did it discs, claim to be a starter set? Good question. Now, will, well, here's the thing. Amazonia. I searched, when I search for these, I say disc golf starter set. There's an instruction manual in there. That's that's a solid point. So they're here. they're they're hiding as a as a starter set. These discs are not beginner friendly. Now what I will say is the mid and the putter aren't super not beginner friendly, but a 10 speed stable driver. They do say disc golf starter set. Thank you very much. Case closed. So I would say as a starter set, the only way you would get this is if like you had buddies who were already had frisbee experience. Let's say they're like professional ultimate players, and you're like they've never done disc golf, but I know they're gonna be able to put a good move on the frisbee. This would work, sure but you're brand new beginner because they're heavy as well. These are probably 170 gram discs. As a starter set, not a great product. As a just set of discs, excellent. Is the box still? It's on your car, why? In the picture, they misspelled approved on it. Oh, is that like a legal strategy? PDJ, APP, RPVED. <laughs> so is that how they got around it? Well, let's just let's see, head over to the let's car. Let's head over to the car real quick. We might be on to sport near because they don't they don't say anything on the box anymore. They just put Wait the PDGA logo. Wait a minute, does it logo. even say approved? No, it doesn't. It just says PDGA. Yeah. Oh, oh there it is. And it's spelled, spelled correctly. correctly. See you in court. See you in the next Unless one. Unless they're made by XCOM. Unless they're made by XCOM. Then they'll see us in court. And they'll see us. In What's the rules with that? We're not suing anybody. We can't say that. I'm suing everyone. No, I was just saying like PDGA wise, what's the rules of like, if I'm discraft and I haven't approved, this is just a focus. Mm -hmm. Why, what's stopping me from just doing a custom stamp on it and calling it a different mold? These are the questions keep me up at night. We'll see you in the next one.